So hi guys, this is Basha, and you're watching Mastermind. So friends, in this session we are going to discuss what are the important questions that are most mostly asked in your board examinations in geography from your topographical maps. And friends, for all of you who don't know the pattern of the ICAC syllabus for geography, so I'm telling you, you have two two parts, part one and part two. Part one is compulsory; you have to attempt all the questions from part one and part two. There is a choice, and uh, there are choices in part two, and in your part 2 the questions based from the uh, theory part it is asked and in your part 1 you have topographical map which is asked for 20 marks and part 1 overall it is of 30 marks and 20 marks is from your topographical map and 10 marks is from your map map pointing map pointing is also important and there are no choices in part 1 topographical map this is mandatory you, it is compulsory you have to attempt that and after that topographical map you have 10 marks of map pointing so map pointing is also important and then in your part 2 you have questions from your textbook where you get choices and there are overall you need to attempt any five questions from your part 2 but part 1 is compulsory so overall 50 marks from there and 30 marks from here so 80 marks question paper you get in 20 marks is from your project now what are the most important questions that are asked from your topographical map in your board examinations in geography So friends first of all six figured grid reference and four figured grid reference this is very important you have to practice this and as much as possible because six figured grid reference and four figured grid reference this is for sure that this each and every year mostly it is asked and you will have to study how to find out the grid, the grid reference that is both six six figured grid reference and four figured grid reference it is important uh, you might be given of a temple to find out the grid reference four figured or maybe six figured grid reference for a temple then you will have to do it or any other place you might be asked to find out the grid reference so it is important after that you will have to uh, see the settlements and all all the conventional signs and symbols you have to study that properly and there are many other which is not required but most frequently the questions that are most frequently asked in your board examinations related to conventional signs and symbols you have to practice that you have to know the color which color is used in which symbol you will have to know that conventional signs and symbols in your topographical map this is very important you must know the settlements and all the different pattern of drainage contours what is relative height what is benchmark what is spot height you have to know all these what are the scales that are there and friends this topographical map mind you that this is very scoring if you practice it if you practice it nicely and uh, go to your exam hall it is very easy now in the topo sheet you can, you might be asked to find out the place which has scattered settlement or maybe the place which has nucleated or compact settlement so you will have to identify the places and all so conventional signs and symbols are very important and most frequently asked in the board examination that questions are to be studied properly and now regarding the definitions and all definition is also asked in your board examinations from your topographical maps so what are the important definitions and all you have what is uh, brackish 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 it is a it is a salty water lake so you will have to study this what is brick kiln what is the symbol of brick kiln this is important so i have decided that i'll provide you i'll be providing you the notes what are the important definitions and all from your topographical map not i'll not be providing you all the materials but what are the mostly the definitions that are asked from your topographical map what is causeway what is cart track what is pack track what is brick kiln i'll try to provide you this in the if and if you want then you can write to us in the comment section and i'll be providing that notes maybe not today but uh, within two or three days i will be giving the link in the description box you can download the pdf now besides the conventional signs and symbols and the important definitions and six figured and four figured grid reference you can be asked to find out the direction of a particular river so you will have to practice that you have you will have to understand that the river is flowing from which direction to which direction so you will have to write the direction of the river and you are sometimes you are also given to uh, write the uh, length between uh, write the distance between two rivers maybe it will be given from this river to this river so you will have to write uh, the distance between two rivers and you you must be knowing that river it does not flow straight river it flows in a zigzag way so you will have to find it using a thread method so you might be taught in your school so you have to find it according to that thread will be provided to you in your examination hall and also the topo sheet which you get in your board examinations you are not allowed you must be knowing this if you don't know well uh, i am telling you 
after the examination you are not allowed to take the topo sheet with you home you will have to return the topo sheet to the supervisor you cannot take it to your home so friends i have discussed what are the important questions that are mostly asked in your board examinations in geography from the topographical maps and besides this as i have already said you uh, there are many definitions and all which are asked there are almost 20 to 25 definitions which i have in a note so i'll be trying I'll, i'll try to provide you that notes if you want the notes please do write to us in the comment section so friends this was the video thanks for watching this video and if you like this video then please do give the thumbs up button and subscribe our channel mastermind and if you have any doubts or queries then you can write to us in the comment section thank you